and welcome back to my youtube channel it's dawn here so today i'm with you i thought we could do a journal page so i have my journal here that the lovely dd crafts made for me oh denise i still absolutely love this um i have got an empty page there um but i think there's a few yeah there's still quite a few at the back um but i wonder i'm only wanting to do a single page so I think let's open these up because that's a good thing about this one I might have to actually put bigger um, things on what you call them ring clips just because it is starting to get bulky and it's one of my favorite journals um, that I, I really really like so I'm going to, I'm going to actually just grab out some bigger ones so as you can see it'll just um allow for the the size of it so i hope you don't mind hon oh look i didn't even realize i did that see right okay let's do let's just do a double page spread why not right okay so i'm actually going to do this one at the back of the book um now i've got a couple of things out that i would like to have a play with so the first one is this which is sydney the badger um i thought the badger would look absolutely gorgeous as our focal point i've also got this which is a woodware stamp and it is bubble textures blots um it's called and i just thought that was quite nice to add some texture and then i found this stencil which i'm sure came free in a tonic magazine um so i thought we could use that the other thing that I, I got which i haven't used in forever is my tim holtz tissue paper and i thought we could use some of that so i'm just gonna rip some off um not very neatly but yeah um i've seen how discolored it is i've had it forever look at that where um it's been um sort of in the sun <laughs> I mean, don't get me wrong, I use it all, well, I don't actually use it as much as I used to. I used to use it all the time, but um, yeah, not so much now. So, but I just thought it would add some really nice um, texture to the background. Now, I really want to do um, a little bit of, I don't even know if I've got, oh, this will do. Um, yeah, so this is actually acrylic um paper so but I, i'm not going to be using it i'm going to use use my watercolors i think um to color this in um because like i say i want to make this my um my focus now i just think this is yeah i need my a4 one so let's stick that on there and then because i'm using um what do you call it um watercolors i'm going to use my hybrid ink so this is from tonic studios it just means that if i decide that i'm going to use any of the mediums over the top um it'll all work out really really nicely so let's stamp that down i'm giving time for that ink to soak into my paper and there he is looking gorgeous so we have him um and then let me grab out a smaller um, a block because I'd like to do some of these um, mushrooms as well. So I'm going to use all of this bit because we are going to cut them out. So it saves me wasting the paper because um, we like to get whatever we can get out of our paper don't we right um so i've got that one and then i'm going to grab this there's three sizes actually which is quite cool um so yeah um and then i'll do a couple of baby ones as well why not and we'll just sort of tuck them in so that I'm only going to use half of the paper um, and then we can use the other half for another day so basically wherever I can uh, fit this in that's where it's going so I don't even know if I'm going to use all of these 
um, you know, from there. But it is nice to utilise the full lot. Right, okay. I do think I maybe went a little overboard. Now, the good thing about this as well is we've actually got some other um, flourishes that we can use on our pages. So they will definitely come in handy. Now, what I'm going to do um, is get my watercolours out. So I'm actually going to use, if I can find them, um, my Jane Davenport ones. <laughs> Okay, yeah, I think I'm going to go for the earthy tones. Um, yeah, let's use the earthy tones. Right, so I have some water here. Um, right, let's get a little bit more sorted. We've got water. Let's put the ink away because we don't need that now. Okay, move these out of the way because, again, we don't need that. Oh, <laughs> sorry about that knocking you guys um right okay let's grab some a paintbrush um i want a couple of different sizes um let's have a look that might be okay and yeah i sort of have favorite ones but i have no idea where all my favorite ones have sort of disappeared to but they should be okay um right okay so i'm going to start off with um the black and i'm just going to color him in now but i want it so that it's sort of grayish if that makes any sense hope that makes sense um because then we can see the lines and stuff okay like so and then do his tail i've got the water on the wrong side um of me but that's fine now the jane davenport paints are very pigmented which is really nice okay so i want to try and get sort of different shades in as well especially around um where those shadow areas are going to be okay now i'm going to do black around here because we need a white bit down the set oh actually we, it needs to have like a white stripe um so what I'm going to do is just put some black in because I think I may come in um, over with my, my polychromo pencils actually um, to add some more detail in. Something that I've always wanted to do was mix the two uh, things together because um, I think that would be quite, yeah, quite nice to do. Right. I didn't do very well on that eye. I should have really used a smaller brush. I'm not really bothered if I go over the lines on this either. Um, because we are cutting. Uh, we are going to cut this out. So, but I still think a smaller brush would have worked on this. So, let's try a smaller brush. Because I do want to add sort of a few areas just a little bit darker now his eyes are really dark that's fine okay i'm just going to use my water just to blend that out yeah i'm liking that i'm loving how that's looking Right, now I want a really, really thick black nose, like so. Oh, so cute, so cute. Right, okay, I think that's it with the pen for that. I'm going to come in with this, um, which is apple red. So, let's put some, I think I've still got black in my brush, but that's fine. I'm just going to water this down somewhat use my i'm gonna use my um 
my glass mat it just stuck at the top um, just so that I can water it down somewhat and then I'm gonna do I'm gonna do a few red ones um, and then I think I want to do a few brown as well um, so get those nicely colored in um, okay and then it's gonna add a bit of depth to it like so just to darken that color up a little right and then I'm gonna come in with this one um oh they're a bit mixed up actually I can't quite tell which one it is I think it's vitamin C no it's not it's called kiss kiss yeah so it's this this one yeah so it's kiss kiss that I'm using now and I'm just gonna do some in this colour like I say not worried too much about going over those lines because these are going to be um, cut out but I just want to sort of mix of like all the different natural um, colours which is one of the reasons why I wanted to use the Jane Davenport paints okay and then I'm not worried about the white bits I'm going to come in with a white gel pen for those um so uh, yeah i think um that will probably be much better right i'm just gonna add some more here it's just a darker there we go um and then i'm gonna come in with this orange unfortunately i put my paints away when they were still wet so i've got paper on that so i need to get this paper off which might prove to be a bit difficult so always try always make sure your paints are, are dry um, when putting them away because you could end up with papering right I don't think I can get the majority of that off so we will just yeah deal with what we've got okay so I'm just gonna go in with the orange now and already you can see that these colours um, together are going to look absolutely gorgeous when we um, when we build it up. So, okay. I do the rest of them with the orange. Um, I think there's just these little ones left. Now, now that that's done, I want to make up like a um, like a brownie grey colour. So I'm just going to get some grey and use my mat for it. I just want to try and get quite a bit of colour down. I'm going to use this. Again, get quite a bit of colour. So I just want it to be like a warm grey. Um the bottoms of the mushrooms oh that's nice so like a brownie a brownie gray and then I'm just gonna go over the mushrooms like so and just get them all colored in and we are being we're not being too careful with these um, because I would like to like I said I would like to bring in my um, polychromo pencils um, you can use any pencils that you have. It doesn't have to be the ones that I have, but um, I'm just using what I have. Um, and we're going to bring them in to bring in some extra detail for these. So, nearly that. Like I say, I'm not much worried about them going over the line. I'm actually making them go over the line because... When I cut them out, it'll just make it look a bit better. One more that I like that. Quite like that colour for the tail. Yeah, and the tummy. Just because it's not full on brown, then is it? Right. 
and then I'm going to bring in this little bit of pink just for the ears like that yeah right okay so now that that's done I'm not going to close that away till that is dry um I'm going to leave this to dry then once it's dry we'll come in with the color pencils but before I do anything else let's bring my pages back in okay and I want to stick these down so I'm just going to use my regular glue for this um you can use your gel medium you can use your gesso I am going to coat this with gesso so I know that um I can use that to fully glue it down so okay and then just making sure all my edges are glued nicely okay and then so that's gonna go like that I think I want this bit um yeah might have that bit there okay so again just popping glue on like that okay um i don't know if i want any more no i think actually i'm quite happy with that so i'm gonna leave it as that and then let's grab out our um gesso so i am gonna go with my cleo gesso for this um because i want to be able to still see um everything through it okay so i'm just going to get the whole page a coat um of this and this is just so that some different mediums on this we can actually um they'll all react to the same um the same way and i do need to be careful because i do have another page underneath that i don't want to ruin so there's that side and then let's do this side okay right and then just along the bottom right okay so that gives us somewhere to start so that gives us our base now i do want to add some texture in so I am going to bring in this and I think we're going to use this floral one um, a few bits that haven't come out so let's see if we can take them out first that's the only problem with delicate ones is not everything comes out so you do have to check I've never used this stencil I don't think or have I I don't know anyway right what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a spatula okay I'm going to use I'm just going to use my clear gesso for this and I'm just going to add some of this on in just random places. Um, yeah, and we're just going to add to both sides. So there's the first one. So I'll leave that to dry and then let's do the same with this one. And I'm I want to do it so that it looks as though it's random if that makes any sense there we go so I'm going to go and wash these because um, I don't want them um, otherwise I won't be able to use my stencil again and that wouldn't be good so I'm going to leave everything to dry once it's all dry we will come back and yeah we'll we'll start and hopefully put the page together and finish the drawing so i'll be back in a second right okay so this is all nicely dried um and i've got my polychromo pencils out so what i'm going to do i'm actually going to put you on speed up for this i think because i'm not sure how long it'll take actually um but i'm just going to grab i'll do a little bit with you um i've just got my black um pencil i was going to say pen then um and i'm just going to sort of try and imitate 
some brush strokes if I can um, and just darken up a few areas just using this I'm actually going to grab a couple of greys as well so a couple of dark greys and I'm just going to build it up and I'm just going to like I said I'm not sure how long this is in fact going to take me um, I just know that I think it'll be nice to add in the um, the different textures so we're using the paint as our undercoat um, and then we're using and you can do this with um, markers as well so you don't have to use uh, what do you call it um, watercolor paint for this you could just come in with your um, Copic markers or even watercolor markers normal felt tips whatever you want you know just to create that base um, right let me just grab a lighter shade just to just because I want to bring in now the good thing about that I'm going to say about my polychromo pencils is they layer beautifully um, they are expensive I'm not gonna lie they are very expensive but um, you can sort of see why you can get um, Prismacolor which I think are a little bit cheaper than this um, but yeah I was very lucky enough to get these for Christmas a few years ago so I'm very very lucky and like I say I can just layer on top of them and in a minute I'm gonna what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna um, just because this is like for acrylic um, paints and stuff this has actually got a little bit of tooth so these are working beautifully on this um, but I'm gonna um, zoom in so that you can see the difference between one side and the other so it's just sort of adding those little bit of details in and just having a really nice time um, so let me just see if we can zoom in there we go so you can sort of see that the texture is getting nicely um, built up on and around this side so and I'm not I'm just going in with like sort of flicking motions here I'm not doing anything anything special and I do find that colouring in with um, coloured pencils does make all the difference I have to say so oh, I think it looks fab but doesn't that look lovely? It just represents the right. Do you know what I want? I want um, a bit of a darker grey, but lighter. If that makes any sense. So just to add in some sort of grey bits, some lighter bits, and again, just doing that flicking motion, and it's just to sort of build in that texture. And like I said, I'm not sure how long this is going to take me. Um, but I will do it on camera with you. So that you can see. So I'll bring this and those edges. But I do think that's looking lovely. And I'm just going to keep going until I feel like I've done enough. Until I feel like that's it. I can't improve it anymore um, so I think that's what I'm gonna do but yeah I think it's gonna be quite a nice afternoon <laughs> like I said it, I'm gonna be here for as long as I as, um, as this takes me but I will pop you on speed up I just wanted to do this first little bit with you just so that you can see um, what I'm doing well, I think that looks lovely. Doesn't that look gorgeous? Now imagine the whole of it done. I think it's going to look really, really nice. So I'm going to start on the other side because I'm loving how this is looking. Um, it's going to darken that little area up. So, yeah. Um, I hope you guys enjoy. So, yeah, enjoy. Thank you. 
Okay, so we're back. Now, what I'm gonna do, make sure I've got the right paints. Actually, I think these are my other ones. Which paints did I use? It's actually been quite a few hours since I was last in the craft room. So now I've forgotten which paints I'm, I was using. Um, I don't think it was these ones, was it? I think it was my other ones that I cannot find. Hmm, what have I done with them? I'm looking for a paint palette but that's gold and I have no idea where I put it. I literally had it out Lucy this morning. Anyway yeah that paint palette has disappeared. I bet I find it as soon as, as soon as I turn the camera off you can guarantee it's definitely not here. No. Can you see it Lou? No. Anyway, there you go. That's what you get for putting it to one side so that you didn't. So I didn't. Oh, found it. It was in my drawer and it was open. Um, right, okay. Oh, do you know, one day, one day, guys. Right, I'm going to just grab my paintbrush and my water. And what I want to do is I want to get some colour down on here. So this is all um, 
nice and dry and oh, doesn't it look gorgeous it looks absolutely gorgeous so i'm thinking i want to go with this gorgeous red and we're just i'm literally just gonna pop lots and lots of um water on here and um we are going to pop lots of color on right um give me one second i just need to grab something out for lucy and then i'll be back i'm back sorry about that right just gonna dump loads and loads of water on here um and i'm gonna grab the same color and we're just gonna pop that in i'm not being careful with this at all this is really just background color i love love that stenciling though that stenciling is gorgeous so i want it a bit the color just a little bit deeper around where the stenciled parts are um i'm loving that i'm loving the color of it they just oh doesn't he stand out beautifully um a part of me wants to add a bit of blue in you know but i don't know whether or not that would just i mean i know it's quite purple but you know when you just if i do that because i'm going to cover there oh i think that could be nice but then this is what an art journal is all about it is actually about you know um having a play and playing with your mediums um and seeing how how things go together and just having a really good time that i really like that blue is not a color that i use a lot of that i will tell you it's um it is um both my daughter's favorite well uh, it used to be Kate's favourite. Kate's now is a khaki green. Um, and Lucy, I'm not sure now. She used to like blue. She used to like um, sky blue. But, um, yeah. Oh, I love that. I'm just going to make that more purple. Okay. Just, I want that to sort of come over onto the page. I'm just trying to get it so that, you know, it's... It looks like it all joins together there. Right, really liking that. So I'm going to grab my um, heat tool because uh, I am going to speed dry this. And then I'm going to dry it and I'll be back. Right, okay. So I am loving that. The colours, they're not as um, bright and vibrant as I thought they were going to be. They're quite subtle, which I really, really love. Now I really want to add some splashes onto this. And I am actually going to do black splash. Um, splashes I'm just going to use the ink on here um, just to add them on and now I'm using a thicker paintbrush um, because I want really thick um, and quite um, a large amount of splatters so you can sort of see that the splash marks are really really big on this um, and that is exactly what I'm wanting now because it is watercolor that it will tone down just a little bit so which is completely fine um, so I'm gonna leave that to dry um, let me just move this a second um, right try not to forget where I put it though um, and on the stamp set um, let's have a look they've got be like a badger and dig deep and find strength from within reflect and under a forest a canopy so I'm quite liking this find strength strength from within um, and I'm going to stamp that that's going to be my focal my um my words on this page because i think that would be quite nice but first of all i'm going to wipe this because i do have a page on the other side so we don't want that to be ruined and what i'm going to do now i do have a little snarry bum behind me uh, so she is she is behind me she's having a, a good old sleep but that's good because she's been in and out of my craft supplies for the last few days so there you go right uh just gonna grab an ink pad um i'll use my first fine clair it doesn't really matter because i'm not putting any inks on or um doing anything special with it but we're just gonna stamp that there 
<laughs> there she goes. Um, I'm also, do you know what? I think I'm going to do two of them because I think that I like this. It'll be like a badger and dig deep. Um, I think that's really nice as well. So, um, let's do that one. Okay. Oh, love, love the writing on that. I think it's absolutely beautiful. Now, um, I am going to use some of these um, flourishes as well for my piece. Um, so I'm going to move that now, stab them. And it doesn't matter that this is just a little bit wet, that's fine. Um, but we're just going to do some stamping. Um, and it doesn't have to be perfect, which is one of the one things I absolutely love about art journaling is it really doesn't need to be perfect at all so just bringing all of that stamped in right i need to just join this together because i have one so there we go it joins onto this side and then up like this oh, i think that is gorgeous and then make that look as though it's one big one. Oh, we'll have you coming off there. That's nice. I like that. Right. Mm. Oh, I don't know what that was about. Okay, so I'm just bringing this in. Like I say, it doesn't have to be perfect. That It's just, yeah, we're just having fun um with this and just enjoying the process of getting messy and just just having a really good time i mean look at that doesn't that just look fab i think that really really does bring that um together oh, i do i love it a lot um now there is some so we've got little splodges but we've also got these little flowers as well um and I think I'm going to add a couple of these little flowers on and then um, we'll start putting our piece together. So I'm, again, I'm just building up around the border and just sticking them in just around. Oh, oh, that's awful. That's just gone right through me. Do apologise for that. Okay, so just... Um, going all the way around like so there love it absolutely love it so let me clean this off um because i have finished do you know what i never bothered even using that um woodware um stamp set i've managed to do the whole of this journal page on using this one it is a beautiful stamp set i got this from create and craft um yeah love it absolutely gorgeous right okay so oh look doesn't he just look gorgeous he looks so cute so he's gonna go there and then we've got tons and tons of mushrooms so i'm gonna grab my glue okay and we're gonna start by gluing him down now, I am going to try and get everything stuck down. However, I don't think that'll happen. Uh, this is like really, really thick cardstock, so. But I will do my best to have it completely adhered down. Okay. And he's going to go and have him there. Now, I'm going to grab out my big stamping block, my big one. And we're just going to hold him down just for a moment to, for that glue to catch. Because once that glue's caught, then it will be completely fine. So, and then I am just going to take these um, mushrooms and I'm going to start sticking them. Um, and I'm wanting them to sort of be here, there and everywhere. So, not really... Um, I don't think I'll use them all, but, right, take that off them, put that on there. Oh, 
isn't he gorgeous right I'm gonna do these little baby ones and we're just building up a little bit more interest on our page yeah I've sort of been in and out of the craft room today um, not really I don't know I'm just you know when you're just in a like not I don't know not quite in a crafty mood in a crafty mood but not completely in a crafty mood but then really want to craft but then you can't craft and I don't know if that makes any sense and it stays like that um like this that is when I do my journals um so this one I've decided to record um but it does take me all day um because yeah right stick you on there it is it can be quite challenging I mean my F and is not great um today only today tomorrow it is going to be perfectly fine it has to be <laughs> um but yeah so i'm not sort of i don't know i want to say this is reflecting how i feel but um i don't know because i do a lot of art journaling um and it goes on my mood um so today i don't know i i've used the badger because little uh little thing for you my husband um has given me a nickname um from when i used to have black hair now i may be slightly gray well white <laughs> um on top um so i started going gray at 18 and yeah so my um for some reason i decided to dye my hair black and i, I had black hair for about oh how many years? I, I must be a good 10, 10 12 years I, I had black hair for. Um, and towards like changing it to, I'm now currently brown. Although most of my profile pictures are pink. <laughs> um, but no, I've gone back over to brown. Um, yeah, um, because I was going grey, I always had a white stripe. So I was called Badger for a very long time. So it was nice to see this stamp set. I mean, I loved the stamp set. Some of the, the like this collection, absolutely beautiful. So um, it was a must for me to get anyway. Um, but yeah, I just love the fact that there's a badger in it. And then today, like I said, I've just, I've wanted to craft, but not wanted to craft. And one, it's just been a day where I'm not quite sure what I want to what I do um my f and D's just doing its thing as it, it as it always does just wondering if I rub that over that texture oh look at that that looks gorgeous yeah I'm gonna do that <laughs> um so this is when I get my art gel now but I don't recall the process um, so this has taken me, um, I mean, I don't even know what time we're on. I think we're on something like five o'clock. Um, and I've been doing this since 10 o'clock this morning. Um, so I've just been dipping in and out of it. And it's, it, you know, it's been lovely. Um, and it's been quite nice recording it for you guys as well. Um, so I was quite chirpy, I think, at the beginning. Whereas I'm really, really tired now. And I am ready, definitely, to. Now, I'm just smudging underneath them. And I'm really liking that because, and yeah, this isn't quite dry, which is fat because look at that, it's just smudged all. Happy accident, I have to say. So I'm just adding that on. I'm just, yeah, I like that. I like that a lot. Um, so yeah, so now I'm like really tired. By tea time, I'm done in. Um, I am ready for my bed. <laughs> So yeah, um, so there you go. So you've probably seen the different stages of me today. Um, yeah, most of the time I do my recording on a morning because I'm full of cheer and raring to go by dinner time. Um, I've had enough normally. <laughs> but yeah, right, loving these. And do you know what I, I really like? Um, I think that is so true though. We do need to find strength from within. Um, I like the bright white. I was thinking oh, I'll colour them. But I'm really liking that black, bright white on that background. So. Right. We need more glue. 
it. I would choose, wouldn't I, to put it on to a, what do you call it, a bit of texture. So I'm making sure there's lots of glue on there. And then grab that. There we go. Right. And then let's stick this bit down. Oh, I love it. It's so cute. Right, I want last thing. Black pen. Because we need a boot. Uh, bo oh, do you know? We need a border. And this is just a by roll. Um, I love using a by roll. It's a fancy by roll though, but it's a by roll. Um but I do love using just a bug standard biro pen to do my doodling. Um, it goes over everything and it never fails. And it has, I don't know, it's got a really nice finish to it, biro ink. I just love it. So I'm just, as you can see, nothing at all special about what I'm doing. We are just scribbling. Love it. And then, Mr. Badger, we are going to scribble around you too. Oh, I don't want to touch him. He's too he's too nice and too precious. Right, okay. I, I think I'm going to call it a day. Um, well, I really hope you've enjoyed this video. Do apologize. I am fine, guys, by the way. I'm completely fine. It's just the end of the day. And... Um, even though I really <laughs> wanted to craft, um, I don't really craft this time of night. But I just, oh, I don't know, I was in the mood and I, I still wanted to do it for you. Um, so I really do hope you've enjoyed it. And look, I've got some little mushrooms for the next time I use the stem set. I've actually just put that stem set away. And what I normally do when I've got leftover bits is I put it in the little whole container and um yeah they stay in there so um i've already put my new clips in here um and what i'm gonna do is find i think it was the back page wasn't it um so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna open these up and put them back in my book and these do these are definitely work better um and it's only because i've made this really bulky so I'm going to stick these in the book. Um, come on. There we go. And then put this one in. Um, so yeah, so you've sort of seen the, the full pro progress today. Oh, honestly, do you know, this is why I don't craft on a night my functioning. I think it was yesterday. Um, I'm hoping by the time this comes up, my tooth is out. So I was at the hospital yesterday. And honestly, I could not function at all. Couldn't function one bit. But I'm having the tooth removed um, on the 19th. I cannot wait. Oh, look at that. Doesn't that look gorgeous in my book? Oh, that is beautiful. I love it. See? It's worth doing, even when you're really tired. Um, but yeah, I've had a few people ask me about my tooth. So it's fractured down to um, the root, which is really annoying. I'm sure it's my B12, because I've had no issues with my teeth until um, I got B12. So yeah, we're going on the 19th to have it removed. And I cannot wait because the pain is just annoying now. Um, so yeah, food is not great, but just means I get to lose weight. <laughs> oh, honestly, I'm gonna go because yeah, I like I said, I'm super tired. I have no idea what I'm talking about, and but I think my journal page was completely and utterly worth every single minute of today that I have spent on it. It is beautiful. I love it. Hope it's inspired you. Um, I'm hoping you'll understand now why it's very rare that I do journal pages. Um, but yeah, I do hope it has inspired you. I'm going to leave it there. Thank you guys so much for watching. And until next time, please do all take care and happy crafting. Bye.